So algorithms, people are like, oh, okay, I just have an algorithm. Well, I'm not a real big fan of cookbook, but here's you know general thought processes. Good active and passive. Generally speaking, active movement tends to be desirable to do first. Show me what you can do. Passive movement being, let me see how you can move after I've checked you. Okay. We're looking for basically bind, ease, and balance points because we're working with a model of concept of what? Barrier here. We're working with barrier concepts, right? So we're looking to find bind, ease, and balance points through active and passive observation. Okay? Active and passive observation, bind, ease, and balance points. We're looking at the body from the big picture down to the small picture. Global, local, focal, or you could say global, regional, intersegmental. You can change it how terminology, whatever you want. But the idea is from the big to the small, like a telescope or microscope, and then coming back out with it. We can check people and evaluate people from a standing position, seated position, supine, prone, lateral recumbent. All of those are fair game. Okay? Because that's how people exist in all these positions. And you've got to decide which is the easiest way for me to get the job done for what I have to do. What do I have access to? What are they comfortable with? You might have somebody who you know is in a wheelchair and you've got to treat them in that position, treat them seated. Then you should know how to do things seated. 